What's up guys, Mikkel here, and in this video, I'm going to be giving you a complete XRP outlook for 2024. Guys, there are a lot of different people in this community who focus on technicals, fundamentals, macro view, but very few people combine it into one big holistic big picture for how XRP is going to react through 2024. Guys, in this video, I want to combine it all for you in one place, go over the most important things that I believe we need to be paying attention to, to play into an explosion in XRP's price this year guys i think when i put it all together in this video you're going to completely understand why i am so bullish on xrp guys this is a video you are going to have to watch till the end like always your support means so much to this channel thank you to everyone who likes the video and is subscribed to the channel guys these things really do help me out so much also we go live almost every day now so if you're missing out on those make sure you have bell notifications turned on Last of all, guys, if you ever need a good place to buy some XRP, make sure to check out my favorite exchange up hold down in the description of this video. But that said, though, let's jump right into it, and I hope you guys enjoy the content. So, guys, let's jump into the video, and like I said, we're going to be going through technical analysis, fundamental analysis, macro analysis, to paint a holistic picture of exactly why I am so bullish on XRP right now. A lot of people have been fudded out by the recent price drops. A lot of people have been fudded out about builders leaving the XRP ledger ecosystem. Guys, I want to show you why none of this matters in the short term, and everything is playing out perfectly for XRP over the long to medium term. Guys, let's start off and just quickly go over what is happening on the fundamental side. Right now, we are seeing an explosion in projects in the XRP Ledger ecosystem. We are obviously seeing big institutions working with Ripple at record high paces. We are seeing more and more institutions adopting XRP for its full intended use case. And most importantly, we see the powers who are trying to stop this adoption losing. We are seeing on a daily basis now the SEC taking losses in court. And I just thought documenting Ripple put out a great post regarding this and that's just that the private sector has better lawyers guys no one wants to go work for the sec we are gonna get low pay a bad reputation and keep losing cases because you are litigating based on political agendas and not based on the facts guys the cryptocurrency industry has the best attorneys out there and they are going to continue to beat the powers that be in court who are trying to slow down this industry Guys, I think at a high level, this is the most important thing you need to understand because then you don't have to hyper analyze each individual case, each individual issue. All you need to know is that the better attorneys, the attorneys who are going to win and the companies who are going to be on the right side of these cases remain in the private sector. They are the cryptocurrency companies going against the SEC. The SEC does not have the brain power. They do not have the resources to take on these companies. So ultimately, we are looking for a big win for crypto against the SEC and the United States, the financial capital world, adopting this technology and it playing a more and more important role in transforming the financial system. We know Ripple is at the front of that. We know XRP is going to be a leader. It's only a matter of time. Now, let's move into the price chart for a little bit and get into technical analysis because I want to show you some very interesting things that are lining up here. One of the things we do know is XRP is clearly within this massive consolidation pattern. And the other thing we know is we are approaching the end of the Ripple SEC case, likely an event that's going to cause a lot of volatility in XRP's price chart. Now, I've gone over this chart a lot on the channel, so I want to fly through it. But this purple box on this chart represents when we are expecting Judge Torres to make a decision in the Ripple SEC case. What you can see is it just so happens that that falls perfectly at the end of this consolidation pattern. Guys, there is no question in my mind based on what we saw the last time we saw a big ruling in the Ripple SEC case right here where we had a massive exponential run that the official end of this case is also going to cause a huge breakout. It is no coincidence to me that this is happening right at the end of this pattern and it is no coincidence to me that this is happening at the exact time we would expect it to in terms of the greater cryptocurrency market cycle. We see Bitcoin at its all time high. We see altcoins breaking out. It just seems like everything's lining up perfectly. Now we can actually couple that with the another very interesting indicator, which is these Bollinger Bands. And this was just brought to my attention earlier today. But guys, these Bollinger Bands essentially show us where price is getting squeezed, where we're expecting a big move in volatility. And just take a look at the last couple times these Bollinger Bands squeezed. We can see that it was back here in 2017 before we went on a 
2000% run right here back in 2020 when we essentially went on a 10x run and now it's happening again right now going into the end of the Ripple SEC case. Guys, these Bollinger Bands have only squeezed three times in XRP's history and it caused huge exponential runs. Is it any coincidence that is happening at the exact same time we are coming to the end of this consolidation pattern? At the exact same time we are expecting an end in the Ripple SEC case? Well, Maybe that's not enough for you because it gets even crazier. Guys, take a look at this. What this is is XRP against Bitcoin. This shows every single time XRP has gone on an exponential run against Bitcoin. And what we can see is once again, XRP's chart is signaling we are right around the corner from a massive move from XRP against Bitcoin. It happened once in 2014, happened once in 2018, once in 2021. And guys, we are back in this zone again. Now, guys, crazy enough, every single time XRP comes into this zone, we see XRP consolidate against Bitcoin for 60 to 70 days before XRP rips face against Bitcoin. How does that line up with the other charts? What we can see is the Bollinger Bands once again are telling us XRP is ready for a big move. This will likely cause the move we have been waiting for on the XRP to Bitcoin chart that causes XRP to go parabolic. The other thing we know is on this larger time frame consolidation chart for XRP, XRP is ready for a breakout when we get the decision in the Ripple SEC case. Guys, it seems like every single chart you look at is painting a bullish picture for XRP. It seems like the fundamentals are saying that XRP is poised to go up when we get this massive movement. Why? Because XRP is gaining mass adoption in the most important part of our financial system, the big institutions. Every other cryptocurrency project out there is focused on retail adoption. They're focused on JPEGs. They're focused on NFTs. They're focused on Ponzi scheme lending protocols. Meanwhile, Ripple is working with regulated institutions to incorporate XRP at a high level in our financial system. These are the things that let me know that when we get to this decision in the court case and we see the volatility, when we see XRP finally break out of this consolidation pattern, when these Bollinger Bands squeeze and we see XRP bottom against Bitcoin, it is going to be a move of volatility to the upside because of the massive increases in fundamentals we have seen for XRP over the past couple of years that have not been factored into its price yet. But it will happen just like it has every other time before in the past in a rapid and explosive fashion. Guys, people we're saying the same thing about XRP not moving back here from 2013 to 2017. People are saying, when is XRP going to move? When is XRP going to move? And then out of nowhere, XRP goes on a 32,000% move. Guys, it is no coincidence to me that everything is lining up perfectly in the same scenario once again. I'm not going to go through the entire list, but as you can see, almost every technical indicator we can look at is telling us that XRP is positioned perfectly for huge volatility, and the fundamentals are telling us that that volatility volatility should be to the upside. Now, guys, with all that said, the one thing that I think could have screwed us over, the one thing that could have held us back was the macro environment. As I have talked about on at nauseum on this channel, one of the worst things we could see for cryptocurrencies going through 2024 is if interest rates don't come down. We know that big institutions, big banking institutions, big investment capital advisors, they don't want to invest into risky assets during a risky time period. They do not want to invest in risky assets when interest rates are high. They do do not want to invest into risky assets when they could get safe yield in other places. This is the biggest problem right now, I believe, holding back the stock and cryptocurrency market from going parabolic, but I think it's about to change in a really big way. Right now, the Federal Reserve has kept rates high to get rid of inflation, and that has really been tampering the equity and crypto market. But guys, what we are seeing is the Federal Reserve, because of their high interest rates, are losing money at record-breaking paces. Take a look at this chart. The Federal Reserve, just this year, lost $114 billion because of their own high interest rates. Guys, the United States government is going through this same problem right now. Because of high interest rates, they're essentially paying more money to refinance finance their debt than on the military itself. High interest rates are hurting the Federal Reserve, they're hurting the U.S. government, and they're hurting the most important parts of our financial system. These high interest rates cannot stick around forever. And as soon as we get any indication that inflation is departing, the Federal Reserve and the U.S. government are going to be in a rush to get rid of the high interest rates. Guys, this right here should tell you all you need to know about where the Federal Reserve wants to take interest rates back to because they cannot sustain losing money at this point pace alongside the United States government. 
Our economy is not built for these high interest rates. We are seeing blood the levels we have never seen in a very long time. This is going to have to change. And with inflation already coming down to its 100 year average, which we sit at right now, it is a no brainer that later this year or early next year, the Federal Reserve will be in a position to take rates down. Once that becomes obvious to the market, we are going to be in the holy grail of a perfect opportunity for XRP. The case will be over. The Federal Reserve will be ready to start cutting interest rates. Big money managers are going to understand that they can now start taking risk and investing into these asset classes. Guys, it seems like to me we are lining up for the perfect storm for XRP in 2024. All these things coming together at the exact same time. Guys, to me, it is not a coincidence that all these things are happening at the same exact time. All of these things build off one another. The charts reflect the fundamentals. The charts reflect the macros. And what we are seeing is the charts are telling us that XRP is getting ready to be priced appropriately and make up for the gains that the rest of the cryptocurrency market has put up that XRP has lagged behind. XRP always lags behind. It was predicted. But what we are yet to see is just how fast, just how rapidly, and just how exponential XRP catches up. Guys, based on the things we went over in this video, there is no question in my mind that XRP is going to catch up and catch up in a very big way. Based on the charts, we are right around the corner from that moment. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed this update. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. It really does mean so much. And for now, pickle out. <laughs>